Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. Okay, so we are here to just do a check-in. I um, already took time to upload the second half of April. April is going to be like a long month, you know, with social distancing. It's like, gee, please let me out of here. <laughs> so I totally understand how you guys may feel. You're probably like, listen, I'm in the house. Put up a video, sis. Okay, I get it. All right, so I'm I'm here for you. This is, this is why I'm... I'm here for you. All right, so we're going to go into our fire signs. Start off with Aries. Aries for my fire signs. I hope you guys are doing well. For my fire signs, for Aries. Aries. Okay, Aries. Look at that, Aries. Okay, Aries. Look at Aries. Aries is like, where they at, though? <laughs> I got some more wine, give them. Okay. All right, so Aries, let's see. How does Aries feel about their person? Now to the end of April, how does Aries feel? Let's do a little check in. How does Aries feel about their person? For Aries. Mm hmm. I knew it was coming. I kind of told it too. How does Aries feel about their person? Okay. Look. You want things to move forward, Aries. You got the chariot and the ace of wands. You want a passion in the beginning. But how you feel, how you feel is you need truth and clarity. Okay? You feel like you want to either give your person truth or clarity or you need it from them about a possible union between y'all. Okay? Possible union. All right? Um, the two of cups, this person is like someone you feel is like... Your other half. This is your boo. My boo. I don't know how to say. But you feel like this is your boo. All right. And you might feel like this is like a missed opportunity um, uh, with the four cups. Okay. You might feel like, okay, if we don't come together, it's going to be like a missed opportunity. Like this person, all right, makes you feel good. All right. You feel like you want to speak your truth to your person or maybe you want them to. All right, but with the um fire, the ace of wands and the chariot right behind that, that's you also saying like you want this thing to move. How? Mm. Okay. I said what actions? That fell out. There it is. What actions will Aries take towards their person? What actions will Aries take? What actions are Aries gonna take? King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, yep. And the Knight of Pentacles, yep. You're coming in with something solid, okay? You're going to speak your truth, right? The King of Swords, the King of Swords plays no games, speaks their truth, okay? They have clarity, okay? They know exactly what they want, all right? They have no problem with being very blunt and upfront with that information, okay? Swords energy is uh, air sign. You could be definitely dealing with an air sign, but with these two pinnacles here, you can definitely be dealing with an earth sign. All right. Um, Aries, you're, you are ready to um, offer your person something real. Okay. With the Knight of Pentacles, um, the Knight of Pentacles does not move that fast. So I'm not sure if you are taking your Mario time to make this offer, Aries. Okay. But you want to definitely offer something real to them. Okay. You want to just be like, listen, this is what I want. Okay, I know what I want with you. I know what we could be. All right, and this is how I want to see it go. Okay, the two of cups. Okay, this is your book. Okay, this is your book. So let's see how they feel about yeah. Okay, how does Aries person feel about them? How does Aries person feel about them? All right, we're flipped over. Was a six of wands. Okay. The king of wands. You can definitely be dealing with a five sign. Another five sign. Or maybe this is you, Aries. And judgment. And yeah. strength card on the bottom of the deck. Alright. So. They want success with you, right? They want success in this. Okay. They want um, to come forth with... Uh, 
passion here. Um, they feel very passionate about you. All right. Um, the King of Wands is also someone that knows exactly what they want. All right. Um, they are the action king. Okay. So they also take action towards what they want. All right. All right. And with judgment here, I think they want um, this to actually just to move, to be. Okay. Judgment, maybe they feel like this is divine intervention. Maybe they feel like, okay, you guys are supposed to be together. This is supposed to be, you know, what it is. All right. What actions will uh, Aries person take towards them this month? What actions will Aries person take? What actions will Aries person take? Okay, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and a Death Okay, card. Aries, I'm so sorry, but you know, technology. I'm over it already. So, <laughs> there we go. So, we were talking about how, you know, what actions your person was going to take, okay? And we got the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and a Death Card. Okay, your person is, wants to communicate, you know, their um, intentions with you. Okay, your person wants to communicate how they want success with you. Your person wants to communicate how, okay, now is the time. Okay, um, they want to end, uh, end the cycle. Okay, they want to create a new cycle with you. Okay, the death card, the death card is not necessarily a bad thing. The death card is like the old is done. Okay, so how things were, they don't want to do that anymore. Okay, um, they want to um, make things better with you. They want to um, offer you something real with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is not someone that takes, like my mother say, wood nickels. Okay, <laughs> so um, they want to come forth right. Okay, so let's see Aries, what your person wants to say to you. Okay. Aries, 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 okay, it says, I can't take this anymore, so listen, Aries, your person, like I said, about to send you some communication, they are about to come right straight for you, okay, so they want to take some real action with you, with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is not playing, okay, the Queen of Pentacles is not playing, like, they know what they want, okay, so, I can't take this anymore. They're coming straight. They're coming for you. This is what they want. They want something real. Okay? They don't want to keep doing the old thing. And on the bottom of the deck, it said, would you give me a chance to make things right between us? Would you? Would you, Aries? Would you give them a chance to make things right? Okay? Because they want success. However it was before, they don't want that again. All right? On to Leo. All right. You're almost done, y'all. Make sure I timestamp these so you guys can have something. I'm going into the rest of this here month, okay? For Leo. You know what, Leo? I saw that devil card there. All right. The devil was there. That's Capricorn's card. Look, it's still on the bottom. Okay. Could be done with the cap. Okay, I'll also see three cups. Okay, so somebody wants to reunite. Okay, celebration. Let's see what's going on. For Leo. Okay. For Leo. Okay, somebody loves you. A little confusion there with the seven cups. Maybe you love them, maybe you're confused. Let's figure it out. Okay, so how does Leo feel about that person? How does Leo feel about their person? You get the Ace of Pentacles. Leo wants to start over. Okay. Leo wants a um, new start. Okay. A brand new abundant start with that big old coin. Okay. Three of Pentacles is like they want to work together. Okay. They want to um, collaborate, come together in union. Okay. With the Three of Pentacles. And look, the Nine of Pentacles. That's a single card, but she's single and abundant, okay? So, they want to either um, 
Yeah, they want a brand new beginning with you, okay? Or you want a brand new beginning with them, Leo, okay? Maybe right now you're single and you don't want to be, okay? Maybe right now you're single and you don't want to be. And with that Three of Pentacles, you want to work things out. You want things to work. You want to collaborate. You want to come together. You want to do things um, as a unit, okay? Okay, you have the Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles could definitely be dealing with an earth sign, okay? But here it's saying that you um, want a brand new solid beginning. You want to work with them. You want to work in collaboration. You want to work in union. And the single card, single and abundant, maybe you don't want to be single and abundant or you feel like they are single and abundant. And you're like, I need to get with them. Okay? <laughs> like, that right there is for me. What actions will you take, Leo? Towards your person. Uh oh. We'll flip out. The three of swords. What actions will Leo take? <laughs> Justice. Okay. Actions for Leo. Actions for Leo. Look. Queen of Cups. Oh, Leo. Look. Six of swords right on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so Leo, this is saying that, listen, y'all got some heartache between y'all, okay? Maybe you're heartbroken, okay? With the Justice card, um, not only is that, like, balancing things out, like, what was wrong is now being right. What was right was wrong, whatever. but it makes things better, okay? <laughs> so, it's like just, you know, things becoming just. You want just this. Okay, um, you love this person. Maybe you want them to give you love. Okay, with the Queen of Cups. All right, but with the Three of Swords there, there's some heartache there. So what actions you're gonna take? Mm, not sure. Um, but maybe you feel like it's time to um, create some movement here, Justice. Maybe you're saying like, hey, things have to become fair. Okay. Um, how does your person feel about you, Leah? I see that you definitely love this person. Okay. Maybe you want to collaborate. Maybe you want to share. With the Three of Pentacles, maybe you want to um, help each other. You know, this is, this is definitely a time of working together you have the moon you have the eight of wands okay oh and the queen of swords okay gosh it's falling out all over the place okay so how your person feels about you leo they feel like it's time for some action okay with the eight of wands okay that's movement but they, that's also communication, but they don't know if the moon card, they don't know exactly like, um, which route to take. Okay. Maybe they feel like it's some things they don't know about you. Okay. Maybe it's some things that aren't clear about you. Okay. And with the queen of swords there, um, maybe they're just kind of like, maybe they feel like you are the queen of swords with them. Like you're communicating a little harshly, um, a little bold, a little upfront. Um, but the queen of swords just, you know, is very clear on what, what they're doing. Okay. Um, they have no problem with releasing things that need to be released. All right. And so if that's how they view you, um, maybe they don't see exactly where they stand with you. Okay. But they need, they want to communicate. They want to have some dialogue here. They want to talk. They want to, um, clear some things up. Okay. The strength card was on the bottom. What actions would they take? Okay, so we got the five of pentacles. We have the six of wands. We had the four of cups. The lovers is right behind that though. Okay, so here you have someone who is um, feeling like forgotten. Feeling like... Um, Things just aren't balanced, maybe financially. Um, feeling like things just aren't um, 
prosperous right now. Okay. And so here they are, um, they want success with you. They want, they want success in this. Okay. Um, and they're feeling like maybe this is a missed opportunity. Maybe things, um, aren't going the way that they should or the way that they anticipated or wanted them to. And they're a little disturbed by that. Okay. With the four of cups, the lovers right behind that is saying that they do see you as a divine counterpart. Okay. They do see you as their, their, the other half. Okay. So what actions will they take? I'm not sure if they're going to take much action because they really do feel like they're not a priority. They're not sure with you with the moon card. Next. If your person was in front of you, Leo, let's see what they would say to you. If your person was in front of you, for Leo, what would they say? What would your person say okay, with them? You want a new beginning with them. It's really hard for me to open up. Okay. It's really hard for them to open up. All right. Anything else from Leo's person? Because the energy is a little different. I'm afraid to take, I'm afraid to take that next step right now. So listen, um, Leo, your person isn't sure about where they stand with you. They're not sure about what they want. Okay. Um, they want success. Let's say that they do want success with the six of wands here, but maybe some things have happened between y'all with the three of swords where they feel like this might just be a missed opportunity. Like it may not be the right time. I know you want to offer them something real with the ace of pinnacles, but they're a little indecisive about that. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Look, I'm getting messed up with a tarot. At. I'm like, damn. <laughs> okay. It's coming. It's coming. Okay. For the Sagis. For the Sagis. From now to the end of April. What's going on with Sagis and a person? Where are they now? Right now. Current energies. How does Sagittarius feel about the person? Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. Look, Knight of Swords right on the bottom. You have the Ace of Cups, the Devil, and the Two of Swords, okay? So, you want a um, new beginning in love with your person, um, but you feel like you guys have been through some stuff. You got some toxicity in there, okay? Maybe some negative thoughts are happening or whatever, and you're protecting yourself with that Two of Swords. You are... You're, you are not clear on exactly where you want to go with things. You're not clear on how things really are between you guys. Um, and you want a new beginning in love with them. Like, maybe you just want to start over. Maybe it was toxic. You're like, come on, we got to release this right here. Okay, we got to release this here back and forth. All right, whatever's negative in between you guys, you see it and you don't want it. <laughs> so you're blocking yourself out from that. All right, what actions are you going to take, Sage? What actions will Sagittarius take towards their person? Look, Knight of Cups, you coming in strong. Okay. Look, Queen of Swords and the Hermit. So you've gone within. Look, Five of Wands on the bottom. I told you y'all had some toxicity in there. Right? You've gone within. You figured it out. Okay. And now you want to come in like, okay, let's, let's change this thing around. Okay. With the Ace of Cups up there. You want a new beginning in love. You want to change things around with this person. You took your time. You took your break. All right. And so with the Queen of Swords energy, you coming in like, hey, listen, we got to change this here. All right. We got to change this energy between you and I. No more devil in the middle of us. Okay. Because the devil is right smack dab in the middle. Okay. No more devil in the middle of us. Okay. Let's release this here energy. I don't want to argue, fuss, and fight no more. How does... Sagittarius person feel about them. <laughs> Four of Wands. Okay. 
or the Queen of Wands. Okay, Sagittarius person. They see you as the Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups. They know that it hasn't been easy. Look, Five of Swords on the bottom. They know it hasn't been easy between the two of you. Okay. They know it hasn't been easy between the two of you, but they want commitment with you. They want security with you. They want structure with you. They want um, to come together with you. Okay, the four of wands, that's the merge card, you know, the 11, 11. Yeah. They want to be your boo. Okay, they know it hasn't been easy. Maybe y'all been having some fighting, some arguing, some fussing. They, they can see it all with you. Okay, at least with that 11, 11 card. That's, with the 11, 11 card, you ready to call that person your person. Like, yeah, that's my girl. Or, yeah, that's my dude. Whatever. Okay. What actions will Sagittarius person take towards them? Nine of Cups. Okay. Make them very happy. Three of Cups. They want to reunite. They want to come back together. So when you come in, Sagittarius with your Knight of Cups, they're going to receive it because they want it with you too. Okay. Page of Swords. Okay. They have a, a, a understanding now. Three of pentacles on the bottom. They want to come together. I can work this out with you, boo. Okay. They feel like they can work it out with you. All right. You make them happy. They want to reunite with you. Okay. They got some truth they want to say. All right. They got something they want to get off their chest. All right. Maybe so that you know, like, listen, I like you a lot. You know, you're my boo. I can see this with you. All right. They want to make that happen. So when you come in, Sagittarius, with your Knight of Cups, understand they're going to be like, oh, okay. God. Or whatever. <laughs> I don't know who your boo is. But they're going to be like, okay. You know, maybe they won't be that easy about it, but just know that they want it to. Okay? So if your person was right in front of you, Sag, what would they want to say? What would Sagittarius person want to say to them? If they were right there. I feel a special bond with you. That I've never felt before. Listen. Sage. You are their boo. Okay. On the bottom of the deck it says. I was reminded of your scent recently. Oh, They miss you. Okay. So whatever fighting. Whatever tension. Whatever. I saw a five of swords. I saw a five of wands. It's just. They don't want that no more. Okay? Because they feel like you are their boo. Okay, should That's what I have. Alright. So we've gone through all the fire signs. Now on to water. What's going on with the water signs? We're going to start off with cancer. 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 If y'all hear my dog, he upstairs acting a fool. He be doing anything. All right, for Cancer. How does Cancer feel about a person? Spirit. Come into this reading. How does Cancer feel about their person? Yeah. Feel about their person. Okay, so you get the Five of Pentacles, you get the Death card, and you get the Two of Wands. Listen. Bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to something. Cancer, so you're not happy right now. Okay. You got the four of pentacles, I mean the five of pentacles, the death card, and the two of wands. All right. This is you. Um, so with the two of wands, look at that. It's like a road or like um, it's direction. It almost look like, you know, in the airport where, you know, they got the guys that's like moving, and, you know, or directing the planes with their wands. Okay. This is you, you know, looking for a direction. Okay. Waiting for um, a sign, waiting for 
movement, waiting for direction. Okay. Um, but with the five of pentacles and a death card there, um, uh, feeling left out in the cold, feeling, um, like something needs to end. Okay. Maybe you want that to end. Okay. However you are feeling, um, but this, you know, feeling left out in the cold, whatever your person is doing to make you feel left out in the cold, you need, you want that to end. You're waiting for some change to happen here. Okay. What actions will you take, Cancer? The Queen of Swords. Justice. And the Six of Pentacles. Look, balance it out. Trade on the bottom. You 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 cutting people out, stopping them in their tracks. Look at the look at the um Queen of Swords right there. She like halt. Who goes there? Okay. Stopping them in their tracks. With the justice card there, you like something has to change. Something has to give here. Okay. Six of Pentacles is like it was not equal give and take. It was not balanced. I put in way more than you did. I gave way more than you offered. And it has to change. If the death card is there. You want to communicate like, hey, either this change or I'm out. Okay. You feel left out in the cold. Okay. Queen of Swords does not hold her tongue. Cancer. You're like, nah. Either things change or I'm out with the chariot card. Okay. That's you creating your own path, your own direction. How does um, Cancer's person feel about them? The Ten of Cups. How does Cancer's person feel about them? Mm -hmm. Cancer's person. And you get the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Not only do they want to come in offering love, but they want to do it quickly too. I feel like your person knows they screwed up. All right. I feel like your person knows that um, they 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 lost the real one. OK, with the Ten of Cups there, that's like emotional fulfillment. OK, that is um, you you can be, you know, you probably everything to them emotionally. All right. Um, you feel a, a huge void in their heart and they now see that. And so they want to come in with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords to try to change things. They need to. OK. Listen, if you want me, you're going to have to come correct. That's what you're saying, Cancer. If you want me, you better come correct. Come correct or don't come at all. All right. Look, Trey was there too. What actions would they take? Okay. They're using the intuition. They want to communicate some stuff. The magician, they want to manifest a change with you. Six of Wands. They want success. Three of Cups is on the bottom. They want to reunite. They want to they wanna change it, okay? The Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, okay? The Magician, they want things to change, and they feel like they can. They're going to try to, all right? They're going to try to manifest some change with you, okay? They're going to try to manifest um, a, a different direction, all right? The Eight of Wands, you're going to hear from them. You're going to hear from them, the Eight of Wands, all right? You also have the High Priestess. They've gone within. They're using their intuition, Okay, they're going to get their clarity, their direction, uh, their advice from spirit. They are trying to um, make smarter choices. Okay. Make smart choices. Okay. Six of Wands, they want success with you. All right. Remember, the Three of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. All right. Oh, wrong deck. Okay. So, let's see, Cancer. If a person was right in front of you, what would they what would they want to say? Okay, because you you're completely over them. Okay. And I think that they know that. Okay. And they want to come in and they want to change some things. They got something they want to say. They got something they want to um do. Okay. With you as far as the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Um, they know they have to create some change with you. And so you're gonna get some communication. What would they want to say to you if they were right there in front of you? For cancer. Cancer. I know I made a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, you did. 
The thought of you still does things to me. I bet it does. Listen, I bet it does because you are at the point where you're like, either you change or I'm out. Okay, you had a cherry on the bottom of the deck. Like, either this happens or I'm out of here. All right, and they feel that energy. They feel it. They know what's good. Okay, and so they know they made a huge mistake and they know that um, they lost a real one. They almost did. Okay. So if they're going, you know, they're going to try to communicate some things to you because they want to make some change. They have a magician here. They want to manifest something new. Can I fix it? Can I please fix it? Is what they saying. All right. What did the bottom of the deck say? I can't take this no more. <laughs> they probably come and say something to you. Okay. Listen, this quarantine got people just ready to break. All right. <laughs> so they probably like, nah, I, I'm not about to keep doing this. All right. I ain't supposed to be quarantined up in here by myself. I'm supposed to be quarantined with cancer. All right. So, let's go to Pisces. Pisces. Mm -mm. For Pisces. For Pisces. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. For Pisces. Mm. There's the nine of swords. Anxiety. How does Pisces feel about their person? Pisces. How does Pisces feel about their person? You get the two of pentacles. The nine of wands. And the eight of pentacles. So, the, the hermit on the bottom of the deck. Okay. okay, Pisces, you feel like with the nine of wands, like you're a little beat up right here, all right? You feel like you've been putting in a lot of work, you know, with the eight of pentacles, maybe you've been putting in more than them, okay? You're juggling, you're taking care of, the you know, everything, trying to keep everything afloat, okay? Maybe trying to figure things out. Um, you're trying to um, work things out, okay? But maybe you feel like you're the only one trying to do something here. What action are you going to take, Pisces? What action are you going to take towards your person? What action will Pisces take towards their person? Actions Pisces will take. Okay. You get the seven of wands, the fool, and the knight of swords. Okay, so you're coming in. You're gonna defend your position. Okay, however you feel about the situation, you feel like things aren't balanced. You feel like you've been putting in all the work. They ain't doing nothing. Um, you you know, you the one trying to make it work here. All right. Um, you're gonna stand your ground with the seven of wands. And you're going to just go ahead and, and say what you got to say. The full energy right there is just like, I'm just going to do it. Okay. I, I understand what this is now. I understand how what I want to say. I understand how things should be. But the Knight of Swords, they come in quick and they come in harsh. They come in quick and they come in rough. <laughs> okay. Sometimes they might say things out their mouth that ain't even right. Okay. That's full energy. Because they've been thinking. All right. And nine, nine times out of ten with that swore energy, they've been thinking because they don't have anything else to guide them in their thoughts. All right. And so they just rushing in like, nah, A, B, C, and D. You know, I'm standing my ground on this. That full energy. Okay. So that's how you feel, Pisces. How does your person feel about you? How does Pisces person feel about them? How does Pisces person feel about them? Let's see what Pisces person talking about. You get the chariot, the four of pentacles, mm -hmm, and the princess of pentacles, okay? Or the page of pentacles. All right, so they feel like they want this thing to move, okay? They want to hold on for assured success with you, 
okay they feel like um they want to hold on to this all right they want to move it forward all right they coming in with the page of pentacles like hey i want to talk about something real with you all right that's how they see you all right they see that they can do some things with you all right they want to hold on to this all right You've been putting in all the work, Pisces, but what actions are they going to take? What actions? Got the Ten of Swords. Ooh. They hurt. Somebody's hurt. Maybe they feel like you're hurt. What actions Pisces person going to take? Ten of Cups. Got two tens here. No, that's the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. And then the Eight of Wands. Okay, right behind that was the Empress card. Okay. The Empress card is also the Baby Mama card. Alright. So. Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups and the Five of Wands. I said Eight of Wands. It is the Five of Wands. Okay. So, um... I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like, um, they're going to take much action, okay? So, Pisces, um, I feel like your person wants to move things forward with you. They want to hold on to this connection. Um, they want to, uh, start something real with you, okay? But with the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups, um, although they have so much love for you, there's so much pain here, okay? So maybe you guys have had some issues that have just taken y'all through something, okay? And with the five of wands here, they feel like they are constantly at feud with you. I think they want to put an end to that, all right? With the ten of swords, they want to put an end to all that fighting and stuff like that. They want to just, they love you, the queen of cups, all right? Maybe they want to just come in and say, like, hey, let's do something real with this, okay? Because I care about you. I love you. That's a lot of love there with the Queen of Cups, all right? And with the five of, five of Wands, there's just probably constant um, friction between you guys. Maybe they feel like they, they have to compete for your attention or compete for your love. Because you are being a little defensive, the Seven of Wands, standing your ground. Tennis wars, they just feel like maybe they've done so much to you that you won't even receive them. Or um, you've done a lot to them. Let's fly how it fits. Let's go with Pisces. Let's see what they're talking about for y'all. What does your person want to say to you, Pisces? Look, someone got flipped it. I look at your picture often, okay? So you guys aren't around each other, maybe because you're arguing, fussing, and fighting, but they look at your picture often. On the bottom of the deck, it says, you've affected my life significantly, okay? Um, your person loves you a lot, okay? With this Queen of Cups, your person loves you a lot, but they just feel like it's just so much pain between you two, all right? You feel like, you know, you're putting in all the work, Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, um, but they got the tennis walls, like, they just been stabbed in the back. Maybe they've been gone through so much, um, maybe even prior to you, that is, you know, probably give, you know, making them a little leery, like, to come towards you, you know? Let's go to Scorpio. 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 What does how does Scorpio feel about their person? Okay. Get the Six of Pentacles, the world. First time that's came out today. How does 
Scorpio feel about their person. And the Knight of Cups, okay? So you feel like um, you want to, in the, the Princess or the Ace of... Mm -hmm. The Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So you feel like you want to um, have equal give and take with this person. That um, you want to offer them up your cup of love with the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups comes in, takes action and offers cups of love. Like, hey, you know, let's let's do this. You know, okay, hey, um, let's see what this can be. All right. Um, the world card there. You want to end one cycle and begin a new. So maybe um, you're coming out of a cycle where things were rough between you guys. Um, maybe you're coming out of a cycle where you were with a, a, someone in a poor relationship or poor interaction with somebody, okay? Where you now want equal give and take with that six of pentacles, right? And maybe you feel like you can have that with this person, okay? With the Knight of Cups, you're ready to offer you, them something, Right? That's how you feel about them. Like, you want a, a whole new world with them. That's my whole new world card. Okay, the world. <laughs> what action will it take? The three of cups. You want to reunite. Okay. Scorpio wants to come back together. Ace of swords. Speak your truth. What you guys say, Scorp? What you guys say? <laughs> Speak your truth, Scorp. Okay, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, you not only are very passionate about this person. Okay, it's on about six of wands on there. You want success with them, they want to come. Okay, so Scorpio, what action you're going to take? You're going to come in. Um, you want to reunite with this person. Okay, you want to reunite with this person. You want to speak your truth. You want to speak your truth because you are very passionate about this person. Okay. You're passionate about this connection. You want to see what this could be. You feel like you want to start a new cycle with them, with the world card, okay? You want equal give and take with them, okay? You want to come in and give you a cup of love, right? How does your person feel about you? How does Scorpio's person feel about them? Four of Wands. They want it with you too, Scorpio. Seven of Wands. They're willing to defend this, okay? And the Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles. They want to offer you something. You got the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, okay? A new beginning. They want it with you too, Scorpio. All right? They want it with you too. They can see that structure with, with you, okay? They can see that stability with you, all right? They're willing to work on that, defend, defend their position, okay? They're willing to defend that. All right, and they want to offer you something, but that Princess of Pentacles, that Page of Pentacles, they're like, here, let's let's do something real here. All right, what actions are they going to take? What actions for Scorpio? What actions will Scorpio's person take? We got the Four Swords healing. They're going to take a moment, and it took a moment. King of Wands, magician. Okay. Yeah, nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. They're going to try to manifest something um, passionate between you two. Okay, with the King of Wands there, you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign with all these wands here. Okay, but they definitely want to come in and offer you something where you have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. This is a divine couple. Aww. Look, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. That's a divine couple. They want to manifest that. They healed. You want to reunite. They want to. They want to come together. They can see the four wands with you. Look. They want to bring that together. They want it to be. Abundant, okay. Look, nine of pentacles is on the bottom. They want to come together. What does your person want to say to you, Scorpio? 
What does Scorpio's person want to say? They won't say. They won't say. Because they love you. They're very passionate about you guys want to be jumping each other's bones. That's what. Y'all can jump in each other's bones. Y'all connect again. It's this um, core team. All right. They want to say, I keep comparing others to you. And I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. Like, listen. You don't know what they thinking. They don't know what you thinking. But at the end of the day, you guys want the very same thing. Okay? You guys are a divine couple right here with the king of wands and the queen of wands. Okay? That's a partnership. All right? They got the four of wands here. They want that with you. They're willing to defend that. Okay? Defend their position with that. All right? They're willing to fight for that. You see that? Here they are like, I'm willing to fight for that. Who coming towards my Scorpio? All right? Y'all need to communicate. Y'all need to get to talking. All right? I know social distancing may be keeping some people apart, but y'all need to have that conversation. Hmm? All right. That's what I have for you guys. All 12 Zodiac have been done tonight. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Okay, <laughs> so... I hope you guys are having a great evening. So, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys really soon. I miss you guys already. Bye-bye.